it's interesting because you said something last week that Congress, you got involved in a situation where the late Arlen Specter or Congress came after you. No, can can you explain this to the public? <clears throat> oh, I could certainly explain it to the public. <laughs> um, that was actually, that was a wild time in my career. It was my second week at Fox here in studio, right? And as I came in here, obviously, you know, Howie, Terry, Jimmy, were are my they're family now, right? But I think they're kind of looking at me like, why is this guy on with us? Like, why? I, I was at CBS before, and then I right. came over, and I was doing, like, sidelines, and my insider hit, and they finally brought me in studio, and they're like, why is this guy? Like, what? you know, we've got the number one show. It's, thank God we have for all these years. Um, and also now they're kind of giving up some time to me, to to an outsider, and I'm like, oh, my gosh, this is, uh, ooh, this is a rough situation. I was actually going through something hard, personal also. Um, and it, it was time I was getting divorced and all of a sudden like man my life has come these these guys don't want me here she doesn't want me and all of a sudden boom i get the spygate video and all of a sudden life you've changed. got the spygate video. Got the video you got it I sent to you it. or you what? i still i'm not gonna tell you how or okay what. just ask I, I got it tindered to me so um so i get the video and we kind of walk in and i went from like one segment to three segments that week and you know our old uh producer scott actress scott Ackerson's like hey listen uh no, Jay had one, but now we're going to have three. It's actually going to be four because Jay has a Spygate video. And Howie goes, hold, 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 hold on, hold on. What do you mean he has a Spygate video? He says, he has a Spygate video. He actually has the video. He goes, hold on. This kid has the actual video. And he's not looking at me. And, and I'm like, I'm sitting there, yep, yep. He has the video. And Jimmy says, the actual video? I said, yep, got the video. And Terry goes, He's okay with me. He's good. So I was like, oh, thank you, so God. Somebody so somebody was watching so, that in so, Congress. Uh, so well, what happened was, obviously, I bring the video. We only played four or five seconds of the video, which we shouldn't. I, we should play more. But it was so, it's Watergate. And then we got a little nervous. So afterward, and I had to deal with our Fox execs, because, again, it was my second week. They didn't really know me here either. Um, but after I did that, everything, life changed for me. Thank God. And so I'm sitting on... And at the time, also, I called Roger Goodell. I told him about it. And I said, listen, do not launch an investigation. Do not do it. It's not like your guy, the head of security, is the Mossad. He's not. Completely. He's like Gomer Pyle. And uh, if you do that, you're going to hurt a lot of people in the front office here, in the league office, who you're going to start blaming for giving me this. And you're never going to get the person, people, he, she, whatever. You'll never get them. Don't do it. So we have to do it. So as time goes on, our inspector gets involved, and he calls me up, and I'm sitting outside. I'm on Kiwa Island, South Carolina. Got a little hard sand beach. I'm painting a picture here for you. Yeah. And I got my little kid there. I'm trying to teach him how to ride his bike over there. And then our inspector calls. My dad is with me. And he calls up, and he says, and he's trying to get my copy of the Spygate video. And I said, you know, why do you want this? And he's like, well, we really, basically, he's trying to go after Roger Goodell and the league. And he says, if you give me this, I could give you the biggest scoop of your life. And I said, Senator, respect, you know, respectfully, what could possibly be bigger than this? Oh, I got something bigger than this. I said, well, if you do, then why don't you use that? And he said, well, you know, this will just kind of help us out. I said, look, honestly, this is just football. We don't, we don't really matter that much. We're escapism. That's it. There's real-world problems that you guys should be handling other than the, 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 the Spygate video. So, no. And by the way, as far as giving me a bigger scoop, man, I'm Bobby Thompson right now. This is, you know, I just hit a home run off right. Ralph Franklin. It couldn't be any bigger. There's right. nothing you can give me that's bigger. He said, well, then we can subpoena you. And I said, well, why would you, why would you lead with that then? Instead of saying to me, trying to offer me and bribe me something, sure, sure, sure. why don't you lead with subpoena me? Well, you know, we can. I didn't want to go that route now, but we can. If you don't, you can face jail time. And my dad is like, that's, that, that's our inspector. I'm like, I know who he is. He's like, he was like with the Kenny. I'm like, dad, I know who he is. Yeah. And he's kind of looking at me. And I was joking around after. I said, but, you know, you got to do what you got to do. And I, and I was quoted somewhere. I said, you know, what the hell do I care if they threaten jail time. All I do is fight and lift anyway. But then I realized no there kidding. was no women in jail, and I was like, nah, it's not a like place La I want to go. like for you. Good, yeah. good God, it'd be a spa. I didn't, <laughs> I didn't like the whole not ladies, no ladies thing in jail. Sure, for sure, me. totally And then I heard it. the food's not terrific. I'm a foodie. I don't like it there. Well, that <laughs> in the end, the story is, uh, it's amazing to me, Spygate, Deflategate. I still have it. I have the video, and I'm dead serious. I used to show it at parties. I used to show in a continuous loop, dead serious, at parties, and people look at it. And the first part of Scott Spygate, by the way, is the guy zeroes in on, like, random chicks in the, in the, in the crowd, in the stands, 
and like tight shots. And then he goes to like the Jet City Dancers and he's kind of, you know, going after their anatomy and then back to different girls. And then I'm like, oh man, this was like, this sucks. Somebody just totally duped me. And then all of a sudden, boom, you see kind of Brady coming to focus. I'm like, okay. But then he goes back to the girls. And then it's 20 minutes of exactly what we're talking about. Amy is zooming in right there, coaches signals, scoreboard, down distance. But let me ask play. you, yeah. Jay, everybody's piling on now. I mean, like Big Ben now is coming out. Well, I always knew back when you talk, and I got a minute left here. I have to go to commercial. When you talk to your, everybody in this league, you talk to GM's coaches, <clears throat> is it now piling on part of our pile on retweet culture, join the fray, jump on people? Or is there a sense in the league? The Patriots push the envelope far more than anybody else. Well, it's both things. One, they, there's a sense of that. And it's like, you know, why do you have to? It's because they who they are. <clears throat> and a lot of them say it's gamesmanship. But number two, not everything needs to be a damn gate. Stop at the gates. You hear something's going on. Right. You're talking about footballs being deflated. You call them up and you go, hey, dude, knock it off. That's it. Okay, let's not eat our own. And that's what's happening right now in the NFL. You're not everything. You got crowd noise. Let's suspend this guy. You got somebody texting down to the sidelines. Suspend this guy. Why? Why are we doing that? Again, it's just football. Let's not take it so seriously where everything has to be a gate. The only person who benefits from every gate is Ted Wills.